All right, we're here. We're here with Louis Iacovelli, a uh, junior at LaSalle, a uh, crew team member, is that right? That is correct. Are you excited for the season coming up if you have it in the spring? I'm very excited and I really hope we have one in the spring and I think we will. All right, so the topic of what we're going to be talking about today is uh, lifting, something I'm very fond of. I know you are, of course, with your cut off. Yep, you know uh, me. So what, what would you say is the most important lifting day? Like, like example, like as in leg day, arms, back, chest. So as a rower for my sport, legs is by far the most important part. But in terms of uh, looking good and aesthetic, you want your arms and like back and chest is way more important for like looking good, like, you know, having big arms and stuff. All right, well, that's true. I mean, I, I prefer doing legs a lot more than arms or cardio. Oh yeah. But um, what would you, do you think that schools should have weightlifting taught over other classes, for example, do you think instead of teaching like an advanced math that you probably won't be using or something along the lines, you should have weightlifting as another curriculum for health? 100%. Uh, I think it's very underrated in today's society and culture. Uh, physical fitness uh, is very underrated. I think it's important because not only is it good for your physical health and physical appearance, but it is also very important for your mental health as well. How many, uh, how many days do you think you should spend lifting throughout the week. Every day. And that's the great thing about lifting is, like you said, you could do legs one day, arms another day, back another day, chest another day, or you could split it up. You could do legs and arms one day, back and chest one day. You can, the day you don't hit one muscle, that, that muscle heals. So you could lift every single day. And I think you should lift every single day. Are, are you, we'll, we'll call these uh, lifting assistants or lifting aids. Um, I know I use them from time to time. Well, most of my lifts, I do use them. Uh, Pre-workout, anything along the line oh, yeah. that falls into that category. Do you, do you think that they are like harmful or helpful to a lift? I think they're helpful. I think they're helpful. I think, I think a lot of them get a bad rap. Uh, I think people look in too much into things. Uh, you know, um, I think it's, it's ca pre-workout, for example, is caffeine. Um, and in, unless you're like, doing it in a crazy excess. Uh, I think caffeine has been proven to be good, again, mentally and physically for you. Um, so I think there's nothing wrong with taking pre-workout. Um, again, something like protein is actually like almost necessary. It is necessary for when you're working out. Um, and supplements like creatine uh, also, I think is good and gets a bad rap. More of a fan of uh, Buck Up, my favorite pre-workout I've ever seen before, guy. Um, what would you what would you describe as a good day in the gym? Like would you? So I think a good day in the gym is a productive day. But uh, honestly, for me, I think every day is a good day in the gym. Um, if you're going to work, every day that you're in there being productive is a good day. Even if you maybe maybe you're not feeling as strong uh, one day in the gym and you're not hitting the same uh, weights as you had been, it's still a good day because you're still working on yourself and you're still in that gym environment. And it's still good for your mental health, even if uh, maybe you're not having the best day with the weights. No, we, we both just got done our, uh, like we, we do lift regularly every day throughout the week. Sometimes we'll do cardio together and sometimes we'll lift. Uh, do you think it's essential to have a, a lifting partner as in like, not as in, as in like the social aspect, but more in the safety aspect? Like, do you think that's essential to have? I think it's very important to have I mean, yeah, there's people that don't do it, and that's fine, but in my opinion, I would, uh, I think the experience is amplified and is, is the best it could possibly be when you have a partner that is also uh, working hard and uh, you guys wanna lift the, uh, wanna each other to improve and you push each other, um, especially, uh, I think uh, competitiveness is key. So it helps when you and your partner are both very uh, competitive. So yeah, I, I think it's I think it's very important to have a gym partner. All right, this is our uh, this is our final question. Look, what would your definition of getting yoked is? My definition is just getting swole and like stronger. Yeah, so my definition of being yoked uh, is being as strong as you can possibly be, uh, looking as strong as you possibly can. Everyone wants to look good, everyone wants to feel good, and I think that's what it's about being yoked, being nice, big, and juicy.